Now next uh, let us find uh, the methods to produce controlling torque. So there are two widely accepted methods to produce controlling torque. They are called uh, spring method and the gravity control method. So I will just discuss uh, the things which are much important for you. And the rest uh, I will provide the references and you can go through them. Spring control and gravity control. So after deflecting torque comes into existence and then immediately we have a need of a controlling torque to control it back. Therefore, we are using something called as a spring. Spring is not ordinary spring which you find in your pens or here and there. This spring is a different one. This is called as a spiral spring. It is disc. It is in the form of a disc type of structure in the sense in this manner. The spring is like this in a spiral manner. Hence it is called a spiral spring and it is very thin. Very thin and preferably it is made up of phosphor bronze. It is hair like thin. Hair like thin made up of phosphor bronze. So what is the advantage of using this one? How do we produce a, a controlling torque? You know, we know always whenever a force is applied towards a spring, it produces a reverse force, isn't it? The same principle we are leveraging over here. So the moving system will be having this control spring. Due to deflecting torque when the moving pointer it moves, it produces a twist, an angle of twist in this disc. And the angle of twist, this spiral spring will be twisted through an angle theta, which is proportional to the deflection. And it produces a proportional control torque so that when a TD or deflecting torque equals to TC, the pointer will come to steady state. So, in the spring control method, the control torque is directly proportional to the angle of twist or angle of deflection. Therefore, the instruments having spring uh, control equipment or spring control uh, technique will have a uniform scale. Uniform scale in the sense between any two divisions, it will be equal, right? uh, like on our rulers, scales. For every one centimeter, the, the gap is same. But you might have seen some instruments where the scale is not linear. In the sense, the distance between any two divisions is not the same. In the beginning, it will be very close, cramped in the sense, or uh, as going far, it will be uh, very wide. So that is not the case we are going to have here by using a spring control instrument. We are going to have a linear scale or uniform scale. Then, uh, what is the what? Let us see the as associated advantages and disadvantages of using spring control. As I said, spring uh, it is very thin. It is made up of phosphor bond. The construction is also very difficult. Hence, it is very costly. And uh, the spring being an electrical conductor, so whereas uh, the spring is a conductor, it serves two purposes. One purpose is it provides control torque to control the to control the deflecting torque or the motion of the pointer without going into unstable state. And uh, it also brings back the pointer to zero when the current is removed or the uh, meter is de-energized. And in spring control equipment or in spring control, these springs serve as the input or uh, as the terminals of the uh, equipment. The meters, the terminals, the in and out uh, terminals are given through the springs basically. Those, these springs carry the current also. So they are having uh, good electrical conductivity also. So they are affected by um, they are affected by uh, tem temperature effect and they have aging effect. Over a period of time, number of operations, the spring will lose its, uh, its spring ability you know, after uh, over, it has aging effect. It suffers from aging effect. And, uh, <coughs> and it is like that. And uh, gravity control liquid. Gravity control in the sense, gravity, we know gravity is always opposite to our uh, thing. You want to move up, gravity pulls down. And we are going to utilize this property of the gravity to control the meter's uh, deflection. So, 
So a typical uh, meter employed uh, gravity, the, its moving system is something like this. This is the pointer. We have a control weight. This is something called as a balance weight. Let us think this is the zero position of the meter. I have passed some current, it produces some deflecting torque. Deflecting torque, which produces a deflection on the point through some angle, uh, some theta. The pointer has deflected through some angle theta. Simultaneously, even these both should go right through the same angle. But, but does, but the, but, uh, but do this weight allow the point to stay where it is? No, absolutely no. Due to the effect of gravity, these weights try to come down, isn't it? Now, what is the weight or the, what is the force or the control torque which is pulling the pointer backwards? So, if W is the weight of the control weight, is the weight of the control uh, element or the control thing, the force is directed towards this way. So, we will use trigonometrics over here. So, it has reflected through an angle some uh, theta. And uh, this is the weight. And uh, this is W cos theta, isn't it? And the component of weight which is pulling, pulling or the uh, controlling the deflecting torque is W sin theta. So I can say that control torque here is proportional to weight into sin theta. It's equal to weight of sin theta. So control torque is proportional to sin theta, where theta is the angle of deflection. Earlier, control torque was proportional to theta. Means the scale is linear, uniform scale. Whereas when you are using uh, a gravity control equipment, you don't have uh, this uh, uniform scale. The scale forms a sine rule uh, in the sense in the beginning it is closer and then as it goes away the distance between the divisions increase and uh, the maximum angle of deflection allowed is 90 degrees in these instruments owing to some constructional difficulties. So what is the difficult what are the advantages of this system? The advantage of this system is that it is temperature independent and it is uh, free from aging effect and it is also cheap. But disadvantage is, is that this instrument can be operated when it is placed only in a vertical position, not in a horizontal. Whereas the control torque can operate in any position. Because when it is placed in a vertical position, then you can uh, use the gravitational force, otherwise it does not work. And uh, these instruments are basically used uh, where uh, <clears throat> operating magnetic fields are weak. Whereas uh, the spring control can be used where operating magnetic fields are strong also. So the best example where spring control is utilized is uh, PMMC type of instruments, which we will study next uh, in the next following classes. And uh, this is preferably used in moving iron type of instruments, MI instruments, uh, gravity control type of uh, equipment. Right. So we have obtained. Uh, uh, different methods to produce control torque and damping torque and in spring control when you are using spring control the TC is proportional to theta and hence scale is uniform whereas in gravity it is sine theta and scale is not uniform please remember these important points